babe Yeah, down I can't relate The sun off in the cloud I got that cake Oh, down off a of her say What's up guys, it's BT here, and this is the highly requested review of the Matrix keycaps. Now, Matrix saw a need in the market, and they saw that a lot of people were wanting like the Ducky keycap sets, the Tai Hao keycap sets, but as a keyboard enthusiast, we all know, we've all been there, they're never in stock. So Matrix really set out to fulfill that need for us and I can get behind that wholeheartedly. So they've got some interesting colorways that I'm gonna go over today and let you guys know the quality of them, what I think about the actual keycap sets and pick some of my favorites and let you guys know if I think these are overall worth it in the end. So one thing that I wanna say before I start this is that Matrix in no way told me what to say. In fact, they actually want me to say negative things and give them good feedback so that they can actually get better as a company Company. So today, trust that I'm gonna give you guys the full real deal on these keycap sets. So starting off with the pricing, it's $45, whereas the Ducky and the Tai Hao keycap sets are coming in at $50. So you're saving about $5 there. Now these keycaps are PPT double shot shine through and they're gonna be resistant to all that grease and dirt and buildup. So one thing that these have over the Ducky and the Tai Hao sets, well, a lot of them, but not all of them, is that these are actually PBT double shot shine through. So for you RGB fiends out there, you'll be able to to shine that light through the legends and the legends are actually really really clean to my surprise i was checking every single legend to see if i could find some kind of bubbling or kind of messed up lettering so you can actually definitely tell that they actually took the time to make sure that they had a good process for their keycaps to give you a quality product and i also love their font choice here it's super clean it looks super minimal it's not all crazy and gamery like some of these corsair and logitech keyboards so i really really appreciate that they did that so i think right Right now on their side, I think I counted about 17 different sets and colors, and a lot of them are the same color, but just flip. They've got the Miami greens and pinks. They've got blues and pinks. They've got a lot of different keycap set choices for you. They've also got that new Hulk one that looks absolutely sick. I really want that one. Matrix, if you're watching that, I want that Hulk set. That one looks sick. They've also recently come out with this new pudding keycap set that I really, really like, and was just stunning. I It was just so creative when I first saw it. I was like, wow, Wow, how come nobody really thought of this before? Putting colored PBT on top with a double shot shine through, and then on the sides having that frostedness of the pudding keycaps uh, so that you get light shining out every which direction. It just makes your board look super bright, super sick. Uh, so for you RGB fiends out there, the pudding keycaps are the ones you guys are gonna wanna go with. It looks really, really cool when you pair it with like a white keyboard as well. My personal favorite keycap set though is the Diva set. This one looks absolutely sick. Like if I could design my own colorway, it would look something like this. I mean, outside of laser, of course, but if I had to choose something other than laser, I think that this keycap set would be my pick. I mean, I just love that deep blue rich with a vibrant pink on the sides. It just looks absolutely stunning. Uh, that one's definitely staying on my ducky keyboard for sure. Now the keycaps are gonna come in this tray, which is really nice. You do have to pick them off with the keycap puller and then put them onto your board. But I really like that they actually just had them all laid out. It makes getting the keycap set and then putting them onto your keyboard really, really easy. The keycap sets have a really nice feel to them. I'd say they're in between like a Ducky and a Tai Hao. Tai Hao is a little bit on the rougher side, whereas Ducky is really on the smoother side. Uh, I feel like these kind of are on the middle, closer to the Ducky keycaps. Really, really good. Um, these are not going to get a lot of dirt and shine on them. Whereas like the Tai Hao keycaps, Cap sets. I don't know if you guys have, you know, come across this, but when I have some of their sets, like the Hawaii one, it gets a little bit of dirt on there and you can't really clean it off. So I like that they made this decision where it's kind of smooth. It's not going to stain and stay there. And if it does get dirt on it, you can be rest assured they can clean it off. So I definitely recommend these keycaps because it's a great way to just dip your toe into the water, see if this is for you, or maybe you know what you want already. They have a set that you like already. Maybe you like the Miami set or the Diva set already, and that's your 
end game, it's just gonna last you a long time. Either way, Matrix has got you covered on a lot of different sets that you can choose from to make your setup colorful or to match an existing colorway that you already have it going on in your setup. So keep in mind that they do actually have some branding on this keycap set. So where the Windows key is, they actually have the Matrix logo. So if you're like a purist that wants the Windows key, you might wanna look elsewhere because they don't have it in the set. And that's one thing that I would actually improve on in the next iterations of these keycaps is that maybe have some, give people a choice as to whether they want a Windows key or a matrix key, right? Me personally, I don't mind it, but uh, some people might and it might deter them from buying it. So I think that that's something that they should consider in the future. And also I think what they can do is add some extras in there. So maybe a different colored space bar, like on the Diva one, maybe adding in like a purple or a pink space bar along in the pack. And also another thing that's going uh, on right now that's a trend, and I've been saying this for, I don't know how long now, is that 65% is the new wave it's gonna be blowing up very very shortly and with that we need a 1.75 shift for the right side so i would like to see them add in a little bit more to broaden their horizons broaden their audience and get more of the enthusiast crowd involved um, a lot of the people that are getting these 65 percent keyboards now that are moving up need an extra key there you don't want to have just a random black key there so that's something uh, if I could give them feedback, that's something that I would add. Oh, and let's not forget the sound test. Let's drop the thing right about now. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So overall, the Matrix keycaps are really, really good. Uh, they're easy to clean. They don't get that dirty as is. They got a lot of different color options and they got those new pudding ones that are available for pre-order and they're not crazy expensive. They're the same as the other keycap sets and I really like that they did it that way because a lot of companies, they try to use that, you know, as a chance to like market to you guys and rip you guys off and charge 10, $15 more. So really cool that they kept the price the same. And even with all that being said, they're also offering a code, a 10% off code, BT, just put that in, in the uh, when you check out and they will give you another 10% off. So it gets it down to around $40. So $40 for a keycap set to cut to, you know, if you're trying to not break the bank, this is a great way to go. Thank you guys for watching. It has been your boy BT. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Wait, where am I? Peace. <laughs>